A bunch of questions tell me where you at. Your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Man, I'm here to bring you guys the latest and greatest tips to make you the best Fortnite player you could possibly be. And yes, the best person you could possibly be. I just want to let you know I believe in you. I am your number one fan. I'm rooting for you to overcome every obstacle that is in your life. You can do it, but you got to stay positive, right? Okay, so, you know, every player going pro has a dream. And it's to someday become a legend spoken about within the community, right? Like, you want to prove yourself worthy by constantly improving your skills one step at a time. However, there is one extra step if you ever want to make it big, and that's the ability to get noticed and build a following. So today, I'm excited. We're going to go through six different things that you need to do if you want to become the center of the spotlight and have even the pros watching you. But before we do that, it's time to get my favorite candy. Help me out, y'all. It's that bunch of crunch, and let's get this going. So for the first thing that you need to start doing is being more active, all right? So this is a no-brainer. If you guys want to keep up with all the updates and changes as well as any community events, that you need to have at least a daily checkup on Fortnite every day. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't do anything else, but you should definitely try to maintain your status as a frequent player. Being an active member does not just involve playing the game frequently, but also just keeping up with what other community members are doing as well as what they are saying on their social media. You can't be in the loop if you don't keep up with it, right? And so this is going to help you guys in the long run as you gain more popularity. Sometimes, you know, being active can mean taking a small step, such as just being vocal in the competitive Reddit, while other times it means taking big leaps into content creation. Remember, you need to put in the effort to really stand out. And this is why so many Fortnite gamers have their own channels. You know, they give back to the community and participate in discourse. Nothing screams this player has some mad skills like a good arena score. Arena points are necessary to hit Champions League and in turn, that will qualify you to participate in other high-end tournaments. However, the grind doesn't stop there because everybody going pro is going to want to hit that minimum requirement. What you want to do is go above and beyond what is required of you. And so this is how you set yourself apart from the rest of the competition. When the community is looking around for players with a high arena score, they're going to look at you and say, wow, how the heck did they do that? So you have to take a strategic approach if you want to culminate enough points to be considered above and beyond. For starters, you want to start your arena grind by W keying through the first three ranks. All right, so with one of the latest updates, shotguns have become much more useful, especially for those wanting to take chunks out of their opponent's health with a single shot. It's still no classic pump, but if you have a good aim, you can dominate players during the early game without compromising your own health. So the higher you go up in the ranks, the more care you should take in approaching arena. Play for the late game, and the placement points should just help compensate for the bus fare. Also, take into account the time of day that you go into arena since this is going to affect matchmaking. Late night games will probably be the sweatiest, while early day games should eliminate an entire age group of players players who need to go to school or go to work during the day. Use your time wisely if you can. If you want to maximize your score in Fortnite, then you're going to need excellent sharpshooting skills. Click the link below to check out AimLab. This free program can help you become an aim legend in three easy steps. First, download the program. Next, check out the different exercise routines available to you. And now watch as AimLab tracks your stats and paints a picture of where your skills are currently at as it analyzes your performance. All right, so tournaments are probably the end goal for you if you want to be a competitive player. However, if you want to be noticed and go even further, further in your career. You need to live and breathe tournaments. Get some good placements under your belt and become one with the meta. If you followed our previous tips, then you should be able to hit Champions League after some steady grinding. However, your journey doesn't stop there. So with Champions League achieved, most of the tournaments are going to become available to you. So don't hesitate and start competing today. Becoming a pro isn't easy and the best way to really learn what other players go through is by participating in as many competitions as you can. This not only is going to familiarize you with the atmosphere and skill level needed to compete Heat, but it's also to get you guys more and more accustomed to playing against players that are comp ready. Even if you know you're not going to be able to get a good placement, the first time just participating is going to help you go towards your future goals. All right, so we all know that consistency is the key to success. And so if you manage to get a third place in a tournament, that's a pretty cool achievement. However, if you do have a track record of always getting top 10, then it says something about your skill level. It's very unrealistic for pros to leave the gate just getting consistent first places. In fact, like the first time you compete, you probably won't even get a high enough placement to show up on the leaderboards. So if you find yourself feeling demotivated after a few losses, man, just try not to feel too bad, all right? A consistent score shows where you are now and you can just work towards reaching new heights over time. As long as you keep practicing and improving eventually, I'm telling you, you're gonna find yourself showing up more often. And if you're really lucky, you're gonna even be able to have that one tournament that makes you a person of interest. The next tip is less about skill and more about marketability. So we know that some of the best players out there have a pretty iconic names, right? Like they have Epic Well, you know, Mongrel, 
Benji Fishy, scoped. However, this also means that whenever you look them up online, whether it be their Twitter accounts, YouTube channel, or Twitch stream, they will all share the same name. This is something that you need to do right away if you want to have the best chances of getting noticed. So getting the same name on every platform can sometimes be difficult. However, if you are able to accomplish this, then you're going to be easier to find online and all your followers are going to be able to easily access your content. If you've been keeping those arena points high and you've been working on those tournaments, then you can gain a small following and the next tip on this list is going to be about the best place to do so. All right, so speaking of platforms, you should probably consider streaming. Streaming is a great way of creating exposure, especially if you want to go pro. All right, so think about your favorite Fortnite pro. Like, what is it about them that makes you a fan? Like, do you like watching them play? Do you like their personality as an entertainment icon? All right, look at Ninja. Like, he's one of the most recognizable icons, whether it be Fortnite or just any other game he plays. When Ninja tuned in during Chapter 3, the community wanted to hear what he had to say, but also just watch him play Fortnite again. You know, aside from streaming, uploading videos on YouTube is also a great way of compiling highlights that can help your popularity soar. Streaming is just great for when you have a following. However, if you want to convince somebody to follow you, then you can't just force them to sit through an hour-long stream of a player that they don't even know. So this is where YouTube comes in. All right, so select your most impressive bits and just upload them. Remember that high arena point score we wanted to get you earlier? Just shove that off there as well. Start trying to get high elimination so you can just make a video tilted. You know, 36 elimination match or just biggest arena score in Fortnite. And so while it might not be a Fortnite skill, just try learning more about how titles can affect viewership through search engine optimization. And this way you can make sure that your content and achievements aren't buried in a sea of videos. All right, so before we wrap things up today, don't forget to check out AimLab and see how you can improve your aim and beat your previous elimination records. Now, one last tip. So playing with teammates is a skill you should have as a pro. If you want to tackle as many tournaments as possible and even play during the FNCS, then you need to be able to work well with others. Word of mouth is a powerful ally, especially now in the age of social media. Expanding your own social circle is just as important in Fortnite as it is in real life. Having connections can be the difference between getting recruited and coming to a standstill in your career. And so when other players can vouch for you, then other players are more likely to want to collaborate with you. They're going to see your achievements and your track record and might even seek you out to form a new duo or trio. You know, in a small scale sample, let's take a look at some of the other tips that we talked about in this video. If you stream your matches and you show off how you train, then you've made a small following off of it. Now, if you find a duo or a trio to tackle arena for points, then you are not only getting a chance to get more eliminations to raise your score, but if your teammates have followings of their own, it just creates exposure as both communities mingle with each other. So soon, you might even see your own following grow, and that is a great step forward, all right? A bunch of girls tell me where you at, your motivation guy is back. Hope you guys love the video. I believe in you guys. I'm rooting for you. I am your number one fan. So keep going over all the obstacles and struggles that are in your life. Whatever you're facing, hey, keep the faith alive, all right? Keep aiming high. Just keep aiming high. Just keep your head up. That's all I want to say to you. Hey, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, hey, we'll see you in the next one. Peace.